If someone had asked me what a real clusterfuck was, I probably would have said, it's when you come home and your wife is in bed with a guy you were drinking beer and playing poker with last week. And that's exactly what I would have said yesterday, because I had no idea what a real clusterfuck meant. My name is Sean Turner, and I'm going to tell you how I got to this condemned cell. Amanda and I got divorced a couple years ago, and every month I come to Rabbit Hole to spend the weekend with my daughter Amy. But when I came to this cheesy hole this time, I faced something that was beyond common sense. I don't know what the hell it is, but it's definitely not human. It stinks like it died last Christmas. Hello? I need help. I got in an accident. Is there a tow truck at the gas station? Maybe there is. Maybe there isn't. How would I know? Why so quiet, Elvis? Say hi. Elvis, you named the raven after Elvis Presley? Who's Presley? Elvis is my husband. He was working in the garden, pruning the bushes, and suddenly, lightning struck him, and he's dead. There was a raven sitting nearby, so my pa's soul got inside him. For a few days, he poked and prodded at his old body with his beak. Must have really wanted to get it back. What the fuck are you saying? You think I'll believe in that crap? You can believe it or not. Makes no difference to me. But if you bring food for my Elvis, then he will predict your future. People become so smart after they die. My pa was such an idiot. But after he died, he's now practically Einstein. Too bad he's not good and bad anymore. Just cause and cause, the bastard. All right. It was fun listening to your fairy tales, but now I have to go. Some kind of nut says her paw is living inside a raven. Never heard anything so crazy. Freeze, you toad, or I'll mop the floor with your brain. Hey, hey, easy, friend. I'm just trying to look for some help. A are you human? Have you seen what's going on around? 
The city is swarming with creatures that are just waiting to wrap your guts around their hands and there's no one else to help. Almost everyone is dead and the phones don't work. Where the fuck is help gonna come from? Hush, hush. Put the gun down, calm down, and let's talk. I, I saw Sheriff Hubert turn into one of them. Saw him trying to help people, and five minutes later, he was chopping up the body of his deputy. It's like the town is manhood and Eva, dude. I know what I'm talking about. We're in a fucking horror movie. Shit. Looks like one of those creatures threw itself under the wheels of my car, and now it's wrecked. I I'm from New Hampshire. I need to pick up my daughter and my ex-wife and get them out of here. I, I wouldn't be so sure they're still alive if I were you. And you're unlikely to find a working vehicle. The machinery breaks down. No one has been able to leave the town. This contagion is spreading like the plague. If you have a suggestion, I'd love to hear it. My house is on Elm Street. It's just at the gateway to the town, not far from here. I have a small radio station in my room. If you tune it to the right frequency, you can try and get help from Portland. The military, the feds, whoever, as long as they take these bastards down. Okay, I'll call for help and look for my daughter. Give me your pistol. No way, dude. That pistol is the only reason I'm still alive. And how do you suggest I fight back? Or do you think I should go outside and wave my hand at him now? Anyhow, you have no choice and you won't get my gun. You have to be quiet, don't make any noise, and then you'll be fine. These creatures are very good at hearing noises, and at the slightest whisper, they'll come to you like flies to shit. Speaking of shit, I could smell it as soon as I walked in. You didn't shit your pants there now, did you? Not that I'm judging you. There's a lot of shit going around here. No, no, dude. That's just the way those creatures stink. Here, take the keys to my house. My mom always locks the door. Call for the help and get my mom here. She's old, but she won't give you any trouble. I'll start boarding up the windows. I don't know how long we have to stay at this gas station. Okay. I'll see what I can do. I have to find Amy and Amanda. I have to get them out of here. Great, a radio station. Now I gotta get it on the right wave. Wake up, brothers and sisters. You 
have slept for too long. They have lied to us about our universe for too long. But now I know the truth and I preach it to Our world weltered in darkness thousands of years ago. But now it will be cleansed. We will cleanse it of the filth and fallen whores of dirty traitors and versatile bastards. Everyone who does not kneel before the great Clonotho will die in the throes and agony. Every sinner will rot and decay. All of those who have not followed us will get the taste of hell during their mediocre existence. But if a lost sheep seeks a way to its past, the doors of our temple are always open. We are waiting for you and your children. Through them, you will find eternal life. Innocent souls that are not stained by the vices of this world will be your key to salvation. Kneel before the great devourer of worlds, Clonotho. I am proud our little town has become the first dwelling of the ancient god. And that after it, the whole world will awaken from a sleep from which it has been for thousands of years. Let the epiphany come, brothers and sisters. Let the all-devouring darkness be with you! Anyone copy? Anyone? Oh, fuck. Nothing. Hi, Sean. Who are you? How do you know my name? I know a lot about you, Sean. But it's not important right now. You can call me Robbie. Robbie, maybe you can explain to me what's happening here. You can finish all of this. You need to try very hard to rescue Amy. Fucking hell. How do you know about my daughter? Let's say that I am an interested party. Your daughter is still alive, but you need to hurry. Don't ask any stupid questions. Just follow my orders, and I will be able to help you. What do I need to do? Hmm, let me think. You need to get into the hospital. That's their new hideout. The roads are blocked off. And beyond the barricades, there are many people that love to eat other people. But there is another way to get inside. 
I think they will take you there themselves. They're looking for you, Sean. Find your wife. Talk to her. She'll be able to help. Stop it with these stupid riddles, Robbie. What has my wife got to do with this? No time to explain. Over now. Fuck. Who is this guy? And how does he know my name? Looks like it's still fresh. Try this, beast. Oh, get it, bitch. Affirmative. Just taking care of some bastards so that I can get inside my house. It's not nice to talk this way about the locals. Why did they become like this? They were always like this. Just the dimension changed. This is difficult to comprehend, Sean, but every object in your world has millions of copies in other worlds. And today, our worlds are becoming one. Clayton Cook has opened the vortex, and now the town citizens are being transformed into their doubles from the parallel world. Everything is happening gradually. How do I stop this shit? It's going to be easy. You 
just need to find a guy called Clayton, take the stone away from him, and stop Kalou before he devours your reality just like thousands of others. Easy? Seems like you're a comedian. Don't drain the battery. Over and out. What the fuck is this shit?
works. The statue's eyes have lit up. Amanda, are you okay? Where's Amy? We should get out of here right now. Sean, what are you doing here? I came to spend time with Amy. I wanted to surprise her. Where's our daughter? She's absolutely safe. My friends are looking after her. Let's go. Take me to her. We need to get out of this fucking town. The dead come to life if you hadn't noticed. Okay, Sean, calm down. We'll go and get Amy, and then we'll get out of here, okay? Just give me a few minutes. Alright, but hurry up. Let's make it quick. By the way, there's some whiskey on the table. Wet your whistle if you want. You look tired. Fuck! Brothers and sisters, our home is defiled because we have brought an alive sinner here. We must leave this place immediately. We will go to our temple. Soon the ancient god will come and set us free. Take everything you need and go to the old catacombs. I will wait for you there. And may the eternal darkness be with us. Just remember, ah, uh, Amy's room. Whiskey. Damn, I've got such a terrible pain in my head. Wait.
Girl, what are you doing here? I'm hiding from the man in the hat and evil people wearing funny clothes. Daddy said they'd kidnap children. Where's your dad? It's very dangerous here. These dead people aren't scary at all. They don't touch me. They just wander up and down the corridors. My daddy works in a laboratory. He locked me in this room so the man in the hat couldn't find me. Do you know how to open up this grave? Of course I do. Daddy gave me this thing. It turns on all the electronic locks in the hospital. Give me this thing, please, and I'll get us out of here. Well, you don't look like those bad people wearing funny clothes. And where can I find your daddy? The exit to the hospital's locked, and I should find the key. One day I was playing rangers and hid in the office of Mr. Mayor, the chief physician. I saw him put a key in his safe. I'm a good ranger. I even managed to spy on the code. And what's the code to the safe? I drew a map with invisible ink, as my daddy taught me. If you make them visible, you will know the code. Girl, just tell me the damn code! It's a game. Adults are so boring. You don't understand children. Oh, do you hear that? He's coming again. I have to hide. I think it works.
something's glistening in the sink. Robbie, go ahead. Do you copy? Robbie, do you copy? Come in! Oh, fuck. It seems like there's no connection. Come to daddy. This place looks like a burial ground. Fucking cultists. I hope you burn in hell. Has the recording started? Yes, Professor. Speak to the camera. So, let's start. Today's lecture is devoted to iron chloride. The substance has a wide application range. It is used in chemical production, radio engineering, and smithery. Furthermore, the substance can be used to research secret or historical archival records. It is used as a chemical developer or a so-called invisible ink. However, today we will discuss how to make a ferric chloride solution in a laboratory environment. So, to prepare the solution, we should mix the following components in strict sequence. Iron turnings, hydrochloric acid, hydrogen peroxide, distilled water. The solution should be carefully mixed to obtain the best effect. I want to fight. Fuck off. Now get some rest. Fucking calm down! Keep everyone fucking. 
Looks like the key's been washed down the pipes.
Is this? Daddy? Daddy, help me! They want to kill me! Amy? Amy, where are you, sweetie? I'm hiding at Wilson's farm. I saw how you were taken to the hospital, but then monsters came there. And the hooded people decided to bring us to the caves on the outskirts of the town. But I've managed to escape. I'm very scared. Stay where you are. I'm coming. Daddy, they're here. They're looking for me. Amy, keep out of sight and wait for me. I'm coming. Amy? Amy! Sean, do you copy? Affirmative. Would you know by any chance how to get into the catacombs? She isn't there. You need to go to the church. They're hiding the kids in there. And they're feeding their energy to Kalungu. There is not much time left. You need to stop him. To do this, you have to steal the stone from Clayton and stop the flow. Only then can you kill Kalungu. While he feeds on their souls, he's invincible. Amy's there? He's devouring her soul? Yes, Sean. But everything can still be fixed if you hurry. Listen carefully. To get onto the church grounds, you will need three masks. The Mask of Sadness you will find in the clock tower at the city cemetery. The Mask of Happiness you will find at the hotel. The guardian of this mask is crazy about puzzles, and maybe you'll be able to make a deal with him. To receive the Mask of Fear, you will need to offer up a sacrifice. There is an abandoned altar at the construction site. Some cult members used to gather there in the past when they still maintained their secretive way of life. A sacrifice? Where the fuck would I get a sacrifice? Well, think of something. If all else fails, you can just steal the pig from the house of Hopkins the Butcher. He is a real psycho. If you decide to go there, then be careful. He is very dangerous. Try to distract him and quietly steal the pig. All right. I understand. I feel the night ahead will be fun. Over and out.
Many years ago, I died in this hotel. This is where my death mask is hidden. If you solve my three riddles, I will give it to you. But if you make a mistake, this hotel will get a new mask. Tell me the name of the girl who was burned and sacrificed by the members of an ancient order. These events allowed the evil to enter the town, and it plunged it into darkness. And now, the misty town on the hill sleeps calmly under a coating of ash. This is a correct answer. Tell me, what is the name of the Lord of the Worlds who sleeps on top of the underwater city on the bottom of the Pacific Ocean? But when the stars align just right, the city rises and an ancient god is freed. This is a correct answer. What is the name of the town when most of the inhabitants suddenly disappeared and the ones who remained left the town in fear? If you want to meet a vampire, you should definitely visit this quiet town. This is a correct answer.
This is starting to amuse me. Good that I didn't have breakfast. Well, where are your matters? Try this, you beast! Look who's here, Elvis! And alive at that! Old hag, does your raven have nothing else to say? Or do I have to go and find something else for him to eat? He isn't hungry. Just says that you smell of burnt flesh. That means that soon your ass will be cooked! <laughs> Tell him that I can rip his feathers out for these jokes. Alright, I have to go.
Wanna eat me? Yeah? Too bad I'm too tough to chew. <laughs> this is starting to amuse me. Good that I didn't have breakfast. Well, where are your men? Take that, bitch.
put the girl on the ground and lift your hands up. My name is Sean Turner, Sergeant. This is my daughter. I need help. Don't make me repeat myself. Just give me a reason and I swear I'll knock your head off. All right. All right. This is some kind of misunderstanding. You don't see what's happening here? I killed all these freaks! What the hell are you saying, you sick bastard? The whole town is littered with corpses. As for you, you can be sure that there is an electric chair in your future. Mori calling the Sheriff Department. Do you copy? Affirmative. This is the Sheriff. Mori, report. We got him, sir. This freak slaughtered the entire town. Good job. Waiting for you at the station, Sergeant. Over and out. Resting, Sean. Who are you supposed to be? Only an old friend. Robbie? So it's you. I saw you in town. I'm here to rescue your ass. I don't fucking understand anything. I killed the creature with the hat. Amy was in my arms. But the cops concluded that I shot up the whole town. That's correct, Sean. They're all dead. You killed monsters, but they were people that were possessed by them. Turns out, the killing one kills the other. There is no other way. Fucking hell. You're also from there. Who are you? Sean, haven't you understood yet? I am you, but from another reality. And if I am still here, that means nothing is over. Let's go. We have a lot of work ahead of us. <laughs>